1994 Abdul comes to Hildesheim. He marries the Syrian woman Neville and has five or six children with her. In 2010 he gets a divorce and starts an affair with Yasmin. She is his niece, also married and has four or six children. Yasmin probably leaves her husband and moves to a women's shelter. Abdul and Yasmin probably want to run away together. But Yasmin's family is against a relationship and threatens Abdul with death. He has to go into hiding in mid-2010. In the meantime he is in Essen, and six weeks before the crime he is back in Sarstedt. On January 1, 2012, two men shot him about ten times in his car in front of a red traffic light. Abdul bled to death. A week later, a 47-year-old Syrian is arrested in Jolsenkirchen who is said to have supplied the murder weapons. He is considered the spokesman of a widespread clan. The getaway car has also been found. About two weeks after the crime Muhammad O, 38 years, the husband of Abdul's lover, is arrested. He is Lebanese with a German passport and had been hiding with his brother. The second perpetrator is still on the run. It is probably the 33-year-old owner of the getaway car. In June 2012 the trial will start before the court of Hildesheim under increased security measures. The defendant's wife and the victim's lover do not testify. The 32-year-old mother is not fit to be tried and unable to travel and is housed in a secret place, it is said. The victim's sister testifies that her brother and his mistress met in 1996. But at that moment the woman had already been promised to the perpetrator. She had agreed. More than 15 years later, the entire clan of the car dealer and Jolsenkirchen, who had initially been arrested, decided to murder Abdul. The clan leader was released for lack of evidence, but he is still under investigation. In July Muhammad is sentenced to life imprisonment. He had remained silent during the entire trial. The second perpetrator, the victim's brother-in-law and probably also the perpetrator, is still on the run. The conviction states that apparently there is a Lebanese extended family in Hildesheim who live in a parallel world and do not accept the rules of the rule of law but mock them. While the verdict is still being handed down, there are still riots in court. The court was evacuated. Thank you for watching this video and helping us build a large database of stories about honor killings. Please subscribe to our channel Honor Killing on YouTube.